This is your last chance. After this, there is no turning back. If you take the blue pill, the story ends. You wake up in your bed and believe whatever you want to believe. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland. And I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. A fighter's mentality should always be this. Roll the footage. Are the stories about you true? They say your mother is an immortal goddess. They say you can't be killed. I wouldn't be bothering with the shield then, would I? The Thessalonian you're fighting. He's the biggest man I've ever seen. I wouldn't want to fight him. That's why no one will remember your name. My feelings are dead. <laughs> I, I feel no remorse. Yo, it's a terrible thing. <laughs> this movie is rated R. It contains some nudity, some violence, and mild language. Showtime suggests viewer discretion. What's up, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. Bah, bah. You already know what the fuck it is, man. All right, so the WBC president is firm. Oh, is he firm, though? Is he firm, though? Oh, Be gone! Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury winner, must face Dillian White next. Let's fucking talk about it. Spartans! Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight, we dine in hell! Holy fucking shit! Alright, fight fans, so the World Boxing Council, aka the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman is standing firm on the world title schedule for the heavyweight division. Back in February, Tyson Fury stopped Deontay Wilder in seven rounds to capture the WBC heavyweight crown at the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, Nevada. Wilder exercised an immediate rematch clause with their trilogy fight slated to take place on December 19th. Pursuant to a WBC order from last year, the winner has to fight the mandatory challenger, Dillian White, by February of 2021. White, who holds the WBC interim title, is risking his position in a few weeks on August 22nd. White will face former WBA champion Alexander Povetkin at Matchroom's fight camp. The WBC has reviewed every single weight category considering the pandemic. Suleiman told Sky Sports, we have had the flexibility with our champion. And the WBC has approved Fury to fight by the end of the year. And it is announced that it might be December 19th and the winner must take on the mandatory challenger by early next year. There is still nothing concrete that Fury Wilder 3 will go forward in December. The fight was initially scheduled for July, but it was pushed back due to the coronavirus pandemic. But both sides would like to have some sort of an audience, and there is no word on where that fight will happen overseas or the U.S. of A. Once the details of Fury Wilder are set down and the fight actually takes place, the WBC will apply pressure on Fury Wilder winner to face White. When the Fury Wilder fight takes place, we will order the pre-negotiations so it's a process that the promoter, promoters, excuse me, negotiate the fight and a date, Suleiman said. It makes no sense to speculate on a date, but it's going to be early next year when they are able to negotiate what goes to a purse bid. What's up, fight fans? It's your man, 3K the Boss, a.k.a. Mr. Two Hands Up. You already know what the fuck it is, man. You know I mean? A couple of hoes always got my name in their mouth. Be gone, son! Putting out some false information. How dare you? Man. All right, so listen, 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 right? You know, we existed in a world where, you know, all of these prima donnas and all of these microwave fans and everything, y'all just thought it was these two dudes. 
And then you know we existed in a world where we had highly objective fans of Anthony Joshua where you know we knew he was the number one guy based on hardware. Tyson Fury pops up, throws a wrench in the plans a little bit, does what people perceive to be the unexpected, but we know Deontay Wilder was no more than a tomato soup can. Knocking over other tomato soup cans. Tyson Fury comes through, knocks over the big bad wolf, but there's a lone wolf. That one wolf. Everybody pushed off, tried to say his place in the top five really didn't make no sense. His place in the top five was irrelevant. Nobody wanted to see him fight Tyson Fury. Nobody cares if he fight Deontay Wilder because it was all the same outcome. Right? It was all going to be the same outcome. Not until you see this buffoon named Skitty get whitewashed. Whitewash, I mean, wiped all the way out, washed up and wrung all the way out. You know, people start recognizing talent a little bit. But dismissive since this man's been on a tear since 2017, knocking out everything, you know, that's come in this path. Got, you know, actively, he's behind Anthony Joshua with the most top 10 active wins in the heavyweight division. So I'm just saying. While he's still about to fight Alexander Povetkin on August the 22nd. With his mandatory position on the line. So the guy in the middle, Deontay Wilder, the one everybody wanted to put up there. That's the guy everybody throwing to the side now. That's the guy everybody's dismissing. That's the guy nobody's paying attention to. Now, that thousand days... It's all come to a head. Boy. Now Dillian White Ray is stepping that ring in that mandatory position. But here's the thing, though. White here's the head scratcher. This is what you guys need to understand. It's your boy, gotcha, millennial bitch. champion Tyson Gypsy King Fury. Is he going to be willing to get in the ring with the can man, Dillian White, the lone wolf himself? Is he going to get in the ring? Is he going to want some of that body snatch action? I'll wait. Because I'm going to tell you what I do know. This is what I do know. I do know I just did a live earlier today when I was just expressing my feelings on boxing. How boxing has given us zero things that we've asked for. Boxing has given us zero things that we wanted. The boxers truly don't give a fuck about fan interest and who the fans want to fight because there's one party that never really wants to get in the ring with him. But this guy right here, man, he gets in front of whoever he's supposed to fight, knock him down. What a select few other fighters. Shout out to those guys that do their thing. So I'm just saying, while everybody was sitting there shitting on that man, when he should have been rightfully in the ring because he was the one fighting the tough guys and people were being dismissive of it. Bro, I'm not paying attention to these prima donna dudes that's not trying to take on take on the top dudes. So look, Tyson Fury got one or two options. You got to fight Dillian White. Well, you got to become the McDonald's French Fry champ. And you already know, that ain't a good look. Mr. Grab a belt and don't defend. Grab another belt and don't defend. I hope that's not your story. Because, man, Dillian White versus Tyson Fury is something I want to see. That's something we deserve to see. Let's get that man his shot at that WBC. As we always say at the end of this shit, cost you nothing. Pay a nigga no mind. It's the motherfucking boss. Respect. Fire and he bought the fury, but do you think perhaps uh, a little bit more of the quality was with you? Say again? He bought the fire and the fury, but do you think that a bit of the quality was with you? Listen, he can bring whatever he want, man. I've been in deep waters and I, and I can swim. You know, it may have made nothing to me, you know. Um, I just, as soon as I say calm and cool, as you can see, I was in great shape. I wasn't tired once, but I was pacing myself and I knew it was going to come, man. They can bring whatever they want, you know. I never had a long amateur career, I had seven amateur fights. I think this is my 26th professional fight. No experience compared to all these guys, but I'm learning. Every camp I'm learning, I'm improving, I'm getting better and better. So, you know, like I say, I'm the can man, whoever won it can get it. Number one, baby! Let's go! Let's go! That's off! Uh, oh, I shouldn't have had those artichoke poppers.